I want to do this video as an encouragement to all my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Please know that he is coming back soon and that no matter what you go through, he is with you. Let the Lord lay whatever these scriptures say on your heart. Let him speak as he may. Romans 8, 35-39 Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long, we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall separate us, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. Romans chapter 5, verses 3 through 4. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. Philippians chapter 1 verses 6 Being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not fear faint. Matthew 11 verse 28. Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. He is coming back soon. Remember 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 16 through 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. He's coming back soon. So be comforted. Even if you lost a loved one in Christ. You'll see him or her again someday. Be comforted in knowing that. That you will see them again someday. And no matter what you are going through at the moment, someday God will wipe away all of your tears. He will someday. Soon we will see him in the air. Soon. And then never be separated again and you'll have no more pain or suffering or sorrow and every tear he will wipe away remember that like what my bookmarker says when you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that 
I carried you. It when you're going through the most hardest times in life, that is when Jesus carries you. That is when he's holding you. So be comforted in knowing that when you're going through a trial, that he's got you in his arms, not going to let you go. He's not going to let you go because he loves you. Jesus loves you more than you even realize. And just think, even when you feel like you're alone, he's sitting right beside you. So, uh, so, like, if you're just sitting alone on your bed, he's right on sitting on your bed beside you. When you're in pain and you think you can't go on any longer, he's right there. He understands pain. He he really does understand your pain. And he I know that he cries when you cry. I know. That's because that's just the way he is. And remember that you will see him soon because he's coming back very soon. These times are really prophetic. And just think someday soon you'll be getting a great the big big hug from Jesus and he'll tell you welcome home my child and you'll never be apart from him again it'll be wonderful and you'll get this big hug the best hug ever anyways just remember that no matter how much persecution comes upon us before we go home we will be victorious we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. No matter how much persecution we might only face a little or it might be more. We don't know. All, just, all I can say is prepare by keeping your Prepare by trusting in Jesus. He'll take care of you. He'll take care of you. Please know that. Please know he'll take care of you. Because... He loves you. And like Romans 8.18 8, says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And remember Matthew chapter 5. The Beatitudes. Remember Ma Matthew chapter 5 and the Beatitudes. 
Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and sh shall say all oh, manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So whether we go home uh, now or in just soon, which it, no matter it's soon, we'll be with him. In death and in life, we are the Lord's. Because even in death, we we <coughs> out of the body is to be present with the Lord so even at death your spirit goes to be with him early and you still get your big hug but as long as as you got breath in your body and as long as your heart beats in your ch chest remember to live is Christ and to die is gain either way we are winners because we have Christ. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we are victorious no matter what. Take great comfort in that, brothers and sisters. Be seeing ya in the air and soon because he's coming back. then we can have a great big family reunion. See ya in the air soon. Have a nice night.